As Manchester United have just confirmed in the last few seconds that Cristiano Ronaldo has re-signed for the club. As we've been saying, it is a two-year contract. There is an option of a third year as well. This is the news we've been waiting for. We wondered if they might take it right down to the deadline just to, just to tease everybody. They haven't. They've done it this morning at 9.31 a.m. Cristiano Ronaldo, this is the signing of the summer, the biggest signing of the summer, I should say. One of the greatest players to ever play the game has rejoined Manchester United. And Emma, let's talk about this now because <laughs> you were here, weren't you? Yeah. I was watching you from home when all of this happened with Ronaldo. Just it's been an amazing few days because of it. I mean, we were saying on the morning show from 7 o'clock this morning that to be sitting here on Sky Sports News on a deadline day. Of course, we do this show every window, Tom, every transfer window. We've been doing the show for four weeks now. And to be sitting here on deadline day morning saying that Cristiano Ronaldo has re-signed for Manchester United, one of the, the legends of the club, like you said, arguably the greatest player of all time. Some people would argue with that. But to say that he has signed again for Manchester United is, I mean, none of us could have predicted this. Stuff of absolute dream, certainly for Manchester United fans anyway. Uh, but for him to be rejoining the club at 36 um, and after, to be honest, a, a good sort of three seasons at Juventus as well, a lot of people saying he's 36 now. Can he still do it? Can he have the impact that he had when he was at Manchester United before? This is a player who, like you said, one of the greatest of all times, whose body is an absolute temple, might I add, as well, and who will also, Tom, add real leadership to this squad, a young squad, the likes of Mason Greenwood, Marcus Rashford, who have got Cristiano Ronaldo to follow in his footsteps and to look up to. Uh, well, we've, we've got some quotes from Ronaldo and from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as well. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo says, Manchester United is a club that has always had a special place in my heart and I've been overwhelmed by all the messages I've received since the announcement on Friday. I cannot wait to play at Old Trafford in front of a full stadium and see all of the fans again. I'm looking forward to joining up with the team after the international games and I hope we have a very successful season ahead. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, let's uh, hear from him as well, he says, you run out of words to describe Cristiano. He is not only a marvellous player but he's also a great human being. To have that desire and the ability to play at the top level for such a long period requires a very special person. I have no doubt that he will continue to impress us all and his experience, as Emma was saying, will be so vital for the younger players in the squad. Ronaldo's return demonstrates the unique appeal of this club and I'm absolutely delighted he is coming home <laughs> to where it all started. Dave, he is coming home. It, yeah, he is. Uh, he's a serial winner as well, uh, five-time Ballon d'Or winner one of the greatest players. You kind of run out of things to say about Cristiano Ronaldo and it's it's quite uh, staggering as well when you see his career in numbers because it's been an unbelievable uh, career for Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, these are his career goals, five at Sporting Lisbon, 118 at Manchester United and it's, it's, it's almost an unfathomable number, 450 at Real Madrid, uh, Juventus 101, uh, Portugal 109 as well, finished Serie A top scorer last season and uh, it, it was an interesting debate that uh, they were having on the transfer show the other night, Carve Solico saying that Cristiano Ronaldo is the best signing for United since <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo and when you look at his career honours as well, he's won everything in the game and uh, as Emma quite rightly points out, the likes of Mason Greenwood learning from Cristiano Ronaldo will be an incredible experience for him. And what we were saying yesterday, the, the only deal that we can compare this to in this transfer window is Lionel Messi yeah. moving from Barcelona to Paris Saint-Germain. And, and the critics of Lionel Messi's move will say, well, it was a, a, an unambitious move. He's gone to play for the Qatar All-Stars in Paris. They should walk league and they shouldn't lose a game. They should win the Champions League. Can you say the same about <laughs> Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo returning to Manchester United? They haven't won the league since 2013. They haven't won a trophy in four years. This is a, a, a player. And if he turns United into... Premier League winners into Champions League winners, that's a, an extra step. But if he does that, does that take him above 
Lionel Messi in that debate. This is a move late in his career. Both of them have moved. That's why it's so exciting <coughs> for the neutrals. That's why it's so, so exciting for the Manchester United fans today. Viva Ronaldo trending <laughs> 3-2-1. Yeah, well, well, what a summer for yeah, Manchester Mark United. Mark has, has said uh, the GOAT is officially home. Uh, Kial says icing on the cake of an unbelievable window. Keep those coming in. Hashtag transfer talk. And Anton sitting there at the sofa. You've been a, a part of this, 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 this huge deal as well. Yeah, I just want to sort of pick up on what Dave was saying about the, the Ronaldo impact at the age of 36. Well, if you look at Ronaldo post the age of 33, he has scored 125 goals in 151 games. He's still performing somewhere near his peak. I was to be said, look, this is, you know, he scored 60 goals in Serie A in the last two seasons. You've got to remember, Juventus finished fourth in Serie A last season. So, you know, he pretty much got them into the Champions League. And he outscored in the, in the Italian league a certain Romelu Lukaku, who went for £100 million this window. So you know, there will be a lot of people saying, you know, United bring back a 36-year-old. Oh, should they, shouldn't they? Well, stats and goals, they don't lie, do they? They don't lie, but also what I will add to that, what Anton said, it's, he's a different player now. He's evolved. You know, when you look at the Cristiano evolved, he is now the ultimate penalty box scorer. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was asked about him by Jeff Shreves uh, after their, their win over Wolves on the weekend. And he said, look, I want him in and around the box. Um, just looking at his goals from last season, only one of his goals in the league last season actually came from outside the box. Uh, so he's, he's evolved. You know, he, he'll be giving United close range finish, finishers towering headers. Um, you look at you know, his performance for, for Portugal at the Euros as well, a centre forward, that was his position. Five goals, three of those were from the penalty spot. Two of them were, were nudged home from you know, within the six-yard box. He's the master poacher and, and that is what he'll bring to Manchester United now. So you look at those stats from previous seasons. He's, he's evolved as a player now, hasn't he? I really have to apologise to Jordan Henderson because we were going to talk about him. <laughs> just, just remember, he has actually just signed a new contract at Liverpool, which is huge news. And just as we were talking about it, Manchester United announced that they've signed Cristiano Ronaldo. And Joshua Bainton says Ronaldo will improve United this season and be back. He will inspire and help United's players and he will put them in a great spot for the Premier League title this season. Scott says, I can honestly say that Cristiano Ronaldo coming back to Manchester United is the best thing to happen in this club in years, and now my son can get to see him play. He'll be playing in the Premier League and scoring goals. Come on. And it, Dave, I remember when we were talking about this earlier in the week, we, you personally looked back at his goal record over the last few seasons, which proved that he's not... It, He's keeping at that high level. It's, he's not tailing off despite his age. Well, he is a supreme finisher. And when you look back at the, at the last two seasons, he's outscored his non-penalty expected goals, which shows that he is finishing as he was over the last sort of 10 years or so. So there seems to be no tail off in what Cristiano Ronaldo is capable of. And, and as Emma quite rightly points out, his game has evolved over the last few years. And he is now... Uh, well, certainly was for Juventus anyway, the, the main penalty box threat that you would expect now to be the role for Manchester United as well. You wouldn't expect him to see, to see him out on the, on the left-hand left -hand side, for instance, like he was in his first spell for Manchester United. But there seems to be no tail off. Do we expect it? That, you know, that's part of the intrigue of this signing. Yeah. Manchester United have signed him for two years with an option of a third. Yeah. And I mentioned on the show the other day, he could play on into his 40s quite conceivably. But, I mean, even looking at his appearances in, in those last three seasons at Juventus, made more than 40 appearances in each of those seasons. Last failed to actually hit that 40-game mark back in 2009-2010. So that just shows you, again, that the level of performance and that, you know, he's 36, he's still got it. Still got it. Oh, he certainly does. Dafford says, uh, CR7 is finally home. For me, my childhood icon is back where he was made. Extraordinary feeling. Remember that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has said, you run out of words to describe Cristiano Ronaldo, not only a marvellous player, but also a great human being. And, and Anton, when we've heard from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer since Friday, he has seemed to have a little smile on his face about this, hasn't he? Yeah, I bet he does. Because it's interesting, isn't it? Because now the conversation has been turning all summer, hasn't it? About the expectation on Manchester United. You know, and if Manchester United are really title contenders, then they need people that have been there and won things before. Look, we all know that Cristiano Ronaldo won so many Champions Leagues at Real Madrid. He won Serie A at Juventus. But also, he knows what it's like to win things at 
Manchester United. He won nine trophies in his first spell at the club, including three Premier Leagues and, of course, the Champions League. How important, how influential will he be to Manchester United finally being title contenders again? It's funny, isn't it, when um, Gary Neville was asked that question on Saturday Night Football. And I love he didn't want to be put on the spot. He was like, I can't, I can't say whether they will, but of course it will take Manchester United closer to that. I mean, look, Manchester United fans will look at the game on Sunday and say, look, we need um, a defensive midfielder. That's what they're going to say. But bringing Cristiano Ronaldo back to the club, I mean, what, what a summer. They finished last season second. Yes, they were quite a way off Manchester City. They then brought in Jaden Sancho, who was, you know, a long-term uh, priority that they wanted to get fixed on the right-hand side. They brought in Rafa Varane, a World Cup winner, one of uh, Real Madrid's regulars. They brought him in. Now they have re-signed Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, if you told Flex at the beginning of this window that that's what they do, I think he'd be quite surprised by that. Yeah, I mean, the, I'm the, happy. <laughs> yeah, you know, the, the Glazers made their money in uh, re real estate, and they have picked up one of the prime bits of real estate. Going <laughs> I, like I like that. I like that. And they've taken a lot of criticism, and, and rightly so, with the European Super League. It wasn't a few months ago that they were upping and trying to leave the Premier League and going to play in a in a in a different competition altogether and Manchester United fans made their feelings clear on what the Glazers are doing at Manchester United but this signing will certainly appease the fans in the short term anyway and it's a, it's a signing that also does great things for Manchester United off the pitch we've talked about the impact of uh, Tom Brady with the Tampa Bay Buc Buccaneers they re-signed him and they ended up going to win the Super Bowl under the Glazers ownership this is a Tom Brady-type signing for Manchester United. They'll be hoping he can inspire them to the Premier League title. It's also, I'm, I'm so intrigued to see how many likes, how many retweets this uh, tweet from Manchester United gets. Well, because even the one on Friday, two million plus, which is, I think, the most for a sports club. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo, of course, historically, I mean, he's got over 330 million followers on Instagram alone, nearly 100 million on Twitter. Um, it, he, it's, it's, you're bringing the brand, Cristiano Ronaldo, it's back to Old Trafford, aren't Everyone, you? Every, they're all using hashtag transfer talk, like Dell, like uh, Mike, like Martin. They're all delighted that Ronaldo is coming back.